My name is Ricky Wollstenholm. I play in a band called Lifehouse, and we're here at Foxwoods Casino starting the beginning of our tour when we just flew in from Berlin. So uh, we're a little tired, but we're really excited that we're starting the U.S. tour tonight here at Foxwoods. Well, this tour, for the first time, we put together, now, now that we have five albums, we have a lot of material to choose from, and we put together a nice 85-minute set which we've got to perfect when we were over in Europe for three weeks doing it without the production. When we got here, we have all these video walls, these clear LCDs. We've, we put a lot into the show and the production part of everything. And I think when we kick into it tonight, it's going to be hair-raising and it'll be exciting. We're pretty pumped about it. My, my little hidden area, which I love because I can hide behind the kick drum, uh, my setup that I use is 24 by 14, uh, 13 inch by 9, and an 1816, the new classic series. And it's uh, super bling because it's gold sparkle. <clears throat> I, uh, I like gold uh, mainly over platinum. Just kidding, that's, that's not true. <laughs> but simple, uh, one up, one down, and uh, I love it. Drums just sound amazing every night, and even tonight I walked out to the front house area. He was playing a mix from one of the shows in Germany, and it sounded, I mean, it was like right out of the studio. It sounded amazing. I like, I like me some Gretsch. USA kit I actually use often in the studio. I have a, a, two of them at home that I switch between that are slightly different sizes, but for the most part, the new classic in the USA, they both have their same kind of color, which they're really warm and they're really tone heavy and just nice but for some tracks the USA Custom is I don't know that one's I've used on more of the heavier kind of edgy tracks and it's come out great but it's hard to really differentiate between which one is meant for which they both sound really good head tuning is always a creative question because some tracks if it's a if it's the type of track that you are going for kind of the dead head you know Beatlesque sound we'll do that and live, I mean, live we kind of just get everything sounding good. But even on the records, I've always stuck to using single ply battered old school style heads where I get them to sound really good. And even though if I tend to hit a little harder, I still have yet to move into, I, I'm not into going two ply because I want to hear the, the shells and the drums as clear as I can. But yeah, I mean, as for experimenting with head tuning and then, you know, I've got this kind of little pad that I've, when I made some sounds organically on the record, I could pull those sounds that I made on the drums right off the album and put them in my pad. If it's for, if I can't blatantly like turn around and play a dry kit and then play a fully open kit, but they're versatile. That's the thing that I like about them mostly. Awesome. Well, thanks for catching up today. We'll uh, see you in the future. You can check out our website, lifehousemusic.com, and we're also on Twitter if you like to do the tweet. Thank you.